This is the Holmes 2 in 1 right here, 2300 kV. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is a 3S and a 4S drive, but the punch on this is instant. I mean, like just pop, pop, pop. It just goes, man, right? So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this drive right here. Driving this is like an AM32 style uh, drive on any outrunner or something like that, but it's an in runner. It's sealed. You can mud bog this thing 400 feet deep if you want. Wouldn't recommend it because you probably never get it back, but still, you can do it. Guys, let's get let's take this thing out for a drive. I gotta go. All right, 3S. Dude, this thing hits like, like a top fuel dragster. I mean, it is just absolutely instant, which is really awesome. Now, not awesome if you're gonna break some parts though, because the Technologia can do that. All right. Make it over to this side. All right, got that. Now let's bring it on up and over. Right over through here. Yeah, control feels good. Now, when I did the drive on this, I did have to retune myself to a little bit different driving style so I could effectively use the engine, the engine, the motor, like what it needs to be driven. So it's certainly not a fusion. And like I mentioned before, it was a, uh, it's kind of like driving an Outrunner with a Crawlmaster Mini V2 or V3. I might, I might be a little bit crazy, but I like the V2 better but I have been known to sound, you know, odd sometimes. But anyway, uh, 3S feels perfectly fine. It's pulling right through, no issues. The punch was there as you just saw. Kind of curious about the overall speed of it, but now the 4S will obviously give you a little bit more of everything, right? I mean, it's just kind of the way it's gonna be. All right, looking good, looking good. Now, as far as crawling like this goes, um, honestly, um, there's not gonna be any difference. I mean, you're using, you know, 10, 20% throttle. Now, when you're coming off of stuff like I'm about to show you, it might make the difference. So we'll have to see if this has enough throttle to pull the front end out of this and not do a nose dive. Let's see here. Nice, slow, nice control right here. As soon as it, oh yeah. So if I had it with the 3S, you know I'm gonna have it with the 4S. Let's see if we can find another spot that I, ooh, look at that lizard. Look at that dude. Yeah, buddy. Yep, he decided to nip. He was like, we're not gonna take it. Oh, look at that, he came right back out over there. He probably knows all the routes through there. Now, that's a cool line, I hadn't done that one. But then again, I changed everything over here, so. I want to find another, another, uh, ooh, there we go, there we go. I want to get that front end, if I can get that front to pull over, I'm, I'm catching on the back axle, or the back uh, tire right here. Yeah, see right there. Holy moly, it pulled it! That was cool to see. Wow. Well, found myself a bad spot here, didn't I? Oh, boy. Wow. Ooh. 
I don't think I'm gonna get through that one here, am I? All right, we'll go around. Man, that's a good line right there. That right there caught me pretty bad. All right, let's go and put that 4S in. Okay, 4S. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Woo! All right. Let's crawl it. I want to attempt to follow somewhat sort of the same line. But I really kind of have my doubts that I'll be able to hit the exact same line. But I'm going to try. See, I'm already off right now. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't need this much power. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, huh. <laughs> Where do I go now? I done messed up my whole line on everything. Come on. Oh, there we go. I can try it, maybe get it again here correctly this time. Oh! Wow! I think I'll bump my driver mod or something. Golly! I need to put my driver mod back on. Hang on. Okay, got the driver mod turned on. Let's see here. I'm not even sure if this is the right path to come up this, to be honest with you. Let me see here. Get that back in to come up into there. Wow. There we go. That was a little bit more of a challenge. Now the, uh, and I'm assuming this is the way I went. I don't know. Heck with it. I'm just going to drive. All right. So I know I came over through here. I know I dropped down this. All right. That's all fine. Easy. No problems there. Not sure which way I came through here. And I had the battery in my pocket. It only took me like, you know, five seconds to change it. But I need to pull through here. Tires are still working really good. I like these new inserts. Okay, so I'm going to go pull up into here. Just like this right here. And see if I can make the turn over into, oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was rough. I don't know what the back right tire was in, but it was pretty bad. Now let's see if I can throttle out of this. It should throttle out of it, shouldn't it? Hopefully. Let's see, nice and slow. Yeah, easy. All right, now this part right here did not let me through with the 3S. Is it going to let me through with the 4S? Probably not. But I'm going to give it a try. Now, it's possible I could be on a... Ooh. Huh. little drift there. Um, possible it could. I might could throttle it. Huh, okay. You see with that punch, I made it. That's what comes with experience from, uh, you know, like having tried it one time before and failed. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. God, look at how tight this thing is turning, man. Look at that. That is awesome. And it's such a smooth turn. That's a big deal. I try to explain to people, dual U-joint axles are the future. 
That's where that back tire was way. Oh my God. Oh, I was on that point. I was about to rip the sidewall out of that tire. Yeah, buddy, right there. Bring it down this right here too. Nice, easy. Get the throttle it real quick. There we go. There you go. Now, uh, the drive was good. Drive was good. Everything is running great on this truck. Um, I like the shortness of this. So this is going to go into a sporty build. Now the sporty build, I'm probably going to change some things up. I'll probably reuse the same chassis. Um, if I do make some changes to the chassis, I will make those adjustments and make this happen. But uh, yeah, definitely going to do a sporty. This, they have to be a 12.5 wheelbase as well. So if I move the skid forward like I can with this right here, I'm going to have to do something with my links because I want to bring it closer together. Because you guys know as well as I do, just like I did with this, I built this to fit the Fusion, which is why you got like a millimeter of clearance on this thing, right? So if you you take your motor, you're going to run. You take your ESC, you're going to run. You take all of that and you build to fit that. I mean, that's just kind of the way it goes, right? You build to fit the combination. Any competition builder out there knows that, hey, I want this, 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 and this, and I'm going to build to fit all of these things, and the parameters are going to be perfect. That's what I did with the Fusion. That's why the Fusion works so good in here. This right here is a whole other ball game. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, check that description. Use those links. I'll link this up down below. And you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done talking. Let's go. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.